Hi, Jason. This is Justin Kostler, Bellingham Technical College Electromechanical Technology Program. This is for the MTech class for winter 2012. I'm doing the capstone project uh, a little bit early because of scheduling conflicts of uh, the other courses I needed weren't offered. So. Today is the 22nd of March, 2012, and uh, um, I got here at about 12.50 or 12.45, and then, um, and I, I've, I've been working really hard the last few weeks on my project, and um, my cell phone number is 360-398-3145. My home phone is 360-734-1936. I'm 31 years old. I live in Bellingham, Washington. And I chose to do um, um, <coughs> a homemade CNC machine. Well, most of it, an, an XY table. And have it controlled with a microcontroller. And here is the thing. Here, that's the control box. Um, and I made this, these uh, side panels for it. Um, this one powers the easy drivers that power, send power to the stepper motors. This one powers the Arduino boards, and I made this little case, um, and uh, so you can see that, you can see in here, I just tried to get some basic wiring done really quickly. Um, here's a Nintendo controller that I hope to someday um, figure out how to hook it up. I got some uh, source code for it, but didn't quite figure it out. And so temporarily, I'll be using these uh, buttons from an old printer. And a lot of this, uh, a lot of this is uh, um, made from scrap. Arduino cookbook is essential. Making things move is really good for uh, shop skills and knowing how to um, hook the easy drivers up to the Arduinos. And I built this stand for my laptop computer. It's, uh, and um, basically, it's it's a uh, thing where it's basically a platform with velcro on the top of it that way I could raise and lower the laptop from standing height to sitting height without taking up table space you can see the there you can see the the motors um, recycled from an old printer um, and I'll we'll zoom in on that. And, uh, these are pillow block bearings that I made with, made out of hardwood. With, um, um, they, they look kind of like this. Uh, I just used rollerblade bearings. Um, See in, inside here. <coughs> there, um, there's a, a, a small tube inside a slightly larger tube inside the, the the roller blade bearing from an old pair of skates from Goodwill. And then these are just the right size for the for the the threaded shaft. I, I bolted it all in there. Made some supports. There's the 
stepper motor. I don't know how clear that is. But it's 12 volts. Here you can see the saxi and that goes to that one. That's that's the y axis. This is the x axis. And uh, there's a the little platform. This is a microscope. It's an 800 power USB microscope that I ordered. Um, and I'll show you what it does. This is my, my first application for this XY table. Um, you can see on the computer, that's uh, from the microscope. I'll turn the machine on now. Um, and you can see the Arduinos. They light up. You push the reset button. And the reset button. Now, um, I drilled some holes in the top for ventilation and getting the wiring out. And this sheet metal, uh, that took a lot of measuring and everything to get it secure and getting the these rubber washers. Um, I made a special tool for making these rubber washers out of um, a leather punch and a pair of vice grips and some sheet metal and wood and hot glue gun and, uh, um, and a, um, a cable, no, not a cable, a, what's it called, pipe clamp that had a key on it. These are Adreno Uno boards. These are the um, easy driver, stepper motor drivers. I tried to have it all such that it could come apart fairly easily. I'll, I'll turn on the I'll turn on the, the power to the stepper motors now, so you can see this. It light goes out, light goes on. Uh, I'm going to place the, the safety shield. And I'll put the, the lock on the hasp. There we go. Now, fun begins. You can see down in here. Um, I'll try to zoom in a little bit. See it going forwards and backwards in the z-axis just a little bit. That's all that's really needed for the microscope. Um, here's the x-axis. Try to zoom in a little bit on that. Uh, here it goes. It sometimes sticks a little bit. And then I used metal braces. Uh, tried to keep at least some of the wires fairly tidy. Um, now here, this is the this is the fun part: the microscope. Uh, it's a, there's a dime under it currently. Trying to get it going. It's gonna be just right so we can see some letters.
there. Okay. Now here, here it is on the computer screen. Let's try to see if I uh, can get it so I can see some letters. So that's a close up of a dime. Need some more letters. Anyway, uh, that's the that's the project. Um, I found a whole bunch of source code, various things. Um, I already did, mom. Don't worry. Sorry, my mom helped me carry the stuff in here. Today, there's some of the source code. Um, there's easy driver stuff. Uh, I'm looking for a picture that you know. Uh, th there are some different designs on Google images for CNC machines and homemade uh, stepper Arduino three-axis things. And I thought the simplest way to do it would be to make to make the the, the x-axis intersect with the y-axis. I would take up the less the least table space. And you can see this this is a, it's mounted on a circular board, but the circular board was top heavy, so I had to buy an, a slightly larger circular board to put underneath it. And then it's a little bit offset, and you can kind of see it there. I tried to get the balance just right, and uh, there's the support, and under there's a bolt, that's a support, and that's a support. I figured three points of contact on the surface would keep it stable. Um, I did all this wood woodworking myself. I tried to... Um, I tried to do a good job using pilot holes and counter sinks and washers and lock nuts and or lock washers and uh, no, and the, I used some wing nuts on here. I guess I can show you the back side of the board and then turn it off. Um, I'll take these wing nuts off so you can see down in there. Also, here's the, uh, what it looks like with, um, that's, that's really what it looks like without anything on there. I thought I could clamp stuff to it for wood burning and engraving and for carving stuff with Dremel tools. Um, now I'll take these wing nuts off. Sorry, this is taking so long. It's, uh, uh, here's, let's see, handy, handy dandy. And I made these little uh, things to pull it out. Uh, Just pop the metal sheet metal circuit board out. Uh, as you can see the back behind there. Uh, sorry about the camera picture. Right now it's uh, a little bit stalled. There we go. That's uh, starting to get it. Okay, now you can see um, underneath here, that's that's the, I, I, I bolted it to a piece of sheet metal, carefully measured it out. I actually left enough room to put not one, not two, but th 
three easy drivers on there. The missing one is for the Z-axis. Um, I have it ready to mount if, if necessary. And it can hold three Arduino Uno boards side by side, but I just have two on there right now. And then here, made some handles out of zip ties and used uh, sheet metal and screws and washers and lock washers and that's about that's about what it is um, again here's the here's the project and uh, my student ID number is 890127094 and my student email address is coslor7094 at beltc.ctc.edu. I also have uh, justincostler at gmail.com. Um, okay, so let's, uh, that's uh, my project. Thanks, it's been a lot of fun. I'll try to put together a short uh, abstract and email it to you. Thanks.